Hey guys, I want to talk about something really cool today. As gardeners, I'm sure many of you have had dealings with squash bugs, cucumber beetles, potato bugs, and cabbage worms. The larger bugs and worms are often countered by spraying neem, insecticidal soaps, hot pepper spray, liquid 7, or BT. But quite often we have to deal with much smaller insects such as aphids. They produce rapidly and can be a real headache for a gardener. Many times spraying doesn't do the job because the aphids get up under the leaves where they're difficult to get to. One insect that is well known for being a gardener's friend is the ladybug. I had a problem with aphids earlier this year and decided to release a few thousand ladybugs into my greenhouses. As you can see, I had lots of aphids and the ladybugs were able to have quite a feast. It was almost like pulling up a chair at the country buffet. The ladybugs simply had a field day gorging themselves on the aphids. Now this went on for a couple of days and then something happened. I don't know if they got homesick or what, but for whatever reason they didn't stick around but a few days. Now I did notice more ladybugs in my garden outside this year, but not enough to compensate for the 3,000 that I had released. There's another insect that I have found to do a much better job of dealing with aphids. It's one that very few people recognize simply because it is so small, but believe me, it is deadly on aphids. What I'm referring to is a tiny parasitic wasp called Aphidias. Here's what it looks like in comparison to a ladybug. But what it does is hunt down aphids and then sting them in the back. In the stinging process, an egg is deposited inside the aphid. This is what the stinging action looks like. And here you can see it in super slow motion as the tiny wasp proceeds to zap the aphids then, as the egg begins to grow, it feeds on the aphids from the inside and eventually spins a small cocoon from which a new wasp emerges. In this shot of the ladybug, you can clearly see the aphids that have been parasitized. The little brownish colored cocoons are very noticeable. So if you're observing an aphid infestation, look for the cocoons. These are much easier to see than the wasps themselves. And if you happen to see the tiny wasps, be kind to them. Because when it comes to aphids, the aphidious wasp is truly a beneficial insect and one of a gardener's best friends. So before you reach for that spray bottle, take a closer look. Nature may already be hard at work solving your problem. Y'all take care, and Lord willing, I'll see you next time.